to leap five feet in the air with a single bound. Are these dogs auditioning for a role in Superman 4? No, they're the Flying Dogs, competitors in the game cycle Ashley Whippet Invitational, the world's premier frisbee catching competition for dogs. The regional finals recently held here in Cleveland are just part of a series which include regional finals all across the country, with the world finals taking place this September in Washington, D.C. The tournament was started by native Clevelander Alex Stein and his dog Ashley Whippet. It was in 1974 when Alex moved to California and tried unsuccessfully to catch the attention of several talent agencies. When I got out to California, I called up several talent agents and told them I had a dog that weighed 28 pounds, that could jump 9 feet in the air, that could run 35 miles an hour and catch frisbees at over 100 yards on the fly, 92% accuracy rate. And they said, you have a what that catches a what that jumps how high? And they'd hang up the phone on me. So Alex decided to take matters into his own hands. He and Ashley illegally snuck onto the field at Dodger Stadium and thrilled a packed house as Ashley leapt nine feet in the air at Frisbees. The stadium security was not so taken with their antics. Alex spent three days in jail, but his stunt received favorable publicity, and from this came the Ashley Whippet Invitational. Participants from surrounding states are all here to challenge the title of Chris Barbel from Kent, Ohio, and his dog, Cato, last year's world champions. Down? Okay. Cato's been training hard for today's event. His challengers have also been taking their training seriously, diligently practicing their routines and making sure to eat a potent athlete's breakfast. I gave her a heartworm pill, a vitamin, and four biscuits. Okay. <laughs> and a lot of love. He loves cereal in the morning. Give him Wheaties or cornflakes, if that's his favorite. Get some going. <laughs> Tempers grow short and nerves become frayed as the hour of competition draws nearer. The tension begins to mount. Each team has 90 seconds of freestyle acrobatics to dazzle the crowd and impress the judges. While some experience the thrill of victory, for others it's the agony of defeat. After several hours of fierce competition, the judges choose three semi-finalists. Get your, get your gear together because we're heading for the stadium. The Indians are expecting us. Before a crowd of cheering Indians fans, the three dogs perform their high-flying stunts. The others tried their best. But in the end, it was Chris Barbo and Cato who launched themselves into orbit and captured the regional title for the fourth year in a row. First round was great. Good dog. Time to get ready for the world championships now. This is four times in a row we won this. He's ready. Got to defend a world championship now. The good boy. Chris and Cato will now be off to the world finals in Washington, D.C. to defend their title against teams from all across the globe. What started out as a simple show business stunt by the late Ashley Whippet has grown by leaps and bounds into a world-recognized sport. It's really enjoyable to me to see the contests continue to grow. One of these days I'd like to see it in the Olympics. Flying dogs. We want to wish Chris.